Welcome. The first part of this meditation will be devoted to taking some time to notice what is going on in the body, in the mind, and in the feelings. And it will be a kind of an insight practice from the internal family systems model. The second part is derived from Rav Dov Bear Pinson's book, Breathing and Quieting the Mind. So let's get comfortable and start noticing the breath. We're going to use the breath as an anchor to help us focus. And just taking our time, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. <clears throat> you may notice some thinking going on. That's okay. Just come back to the breath. You may notice some body sensations such as some aches and pains or a sense of exhaustion or perhaps some indigestion. And that's okay, we're just going to notice it with curiosity and come back to the breath. You may notice some feelings, whether positive feelings like appreciation or gratitude, or some difficult feelings such as grief or sadness or frustration. And we're just welcoming whatever comes forward, noticing it, recognizing it, and using the breath as an anchor. And let's go to the next step of kind of talking to those young protectors, those young parts that are inside. Let them know that they're welcome. If you're not so familiar with this, you may recognize a voice that is an internal critic that might be saying, oh, this is so boring or we can't do this right. We're never going to get this right. Or you may notice a distractor which is saying, uh, let's go back to that video game I was playing or, you know, I need to go shopping. Some other part that wants to distract. Or you may notice a vulnerable part that's kind of hiding behind the distractor. Feeling that they need to hide. They may be feeling suppressed in grief and sadness or fear or shame. So let's just take a couple of moments to notice what's going on with whether it's an internal critic or a distractor that wants to take you mind off this and convince you to do something else, or whether it's a young part which is suffering underneath all of this. And we're just going to breathe and notice what comes forward or who comes forward, as they say. Using the breath as an anchor. Noticing any internal parts, whether it's a critic or a part that wants to control. 
or distractor that wants to take your mind off this to get onto something else that will not be present, that will take you off into some kind of distracting activity. Or perhaps it's an internal part, which is an exile, which is not usually coming up, but maybe appearing right now. If none of this seems to make any sense right now, then just notice body sensations. And coming back to the breath. And there's that ache over there or that pain over there. And that be one, may be one of your parts saying, I'm tired of this. I don't feel good. Take care of me. Or there's just too much. So we're just going to be compassionate and curious. using the breath as an anchor, sending curiosity to the body, and whether it's the sensations or the thoughts or the emotions, we're just curious. And we have rachamim, we have compassion for the struggle of this physical body in this moment. Let your young parts and your body know that you are there with them. And let's settle them down into some space so that we can focus more easily and so that they feel cared for. Perhaps the critic would like to go do some kind of technical work or some kind of organizing task. Perhaps the distractor wants to go and sleep a lot or read a book or play a video game or do something that will distract them and relax them. And perhaps the young and internal vulnerable part wants to just be held. In fact, maybe all of the parts just want to be held. So wherever they are, they might be, they might agree to listen and watch this practice. They might agree to go off and do some other activity that appeals to them. Or they might want to just be here with you while you put your hand on your chest over your heart and just send compassion down through this physical body, which is not having an easy time of it. And then just Let's just take a couple of breaths and be present with the parts and watch if they're ready to calm down. Notice if the mind is still activated or quieter. And 
Notice if the distractor is settling down. Notice if the critic is feeling calmer. And if not, that's okay. They can watch or we can just stay with them and send them compassion and curiosity about what it is that they need. Using the breath as an anchor. Now that your body is perhaps feeling a little calmer, we're going to move to the second part of this practice. We're going to reflect on one holy thought and feel the closeness of Almighty God. You may reflect on one of these, or you may choose a sentence from Psalms or another holy thought, but here are some examples. Almighty God, you are the source of all blessing. There is nothing else beside you. The entire world is filled with your presence. So you can choose one of those. I think I'll choose the middle one. There is nothing else beside you. Everything is you. Ain od milvado. There is nothing else beside him. And I'm just going to say that phrase over and over and over again. There is nothing else beside him. As I breathe in, ain od milvado. As I breathe out, there is nothing else beside him. There is nothing else beside him. Nothing else beside him. Ain't old. Nothing else. Bilvado, but him. <sighs> Nothing else beside him. Nothing beside him. And you may notice some body sensations distracting you or some thoughts distracting you. And this is the body coming into the practice. And we can politely be curious and ask them if they will let us do this practice. If they can watch on the side or find an activity that appeals to them. Jain Ode. Movato. And the body is also comes from Hashem, comes from God Almighty. Nothing else beside him. Everything around me. There's nothing here that is not 
from Hashem, from God Almighty. Everything is from God Almighty. Ein Odnu Vato. The table, the chair, my body. It is all from Almighty God. Nothing else. There is nothing else. Once your mind is settled and calm, move your attention to something that needs attention in your life. It may be an affirmation, such as everything will be well, an emotional problem, a conflict with someone close to you, or a dilemma that demands a decision from you. Or maybe you're wondering about what your purpose is in your existence. Choose one. Whether it's an affirmation, a problem, an emotional problem, a conflict with someone, a dilemma that demands a decision from you, or maybe the purpose that brings you to this life and to this body. So formulating your question or your affirmation. Or your challenge. And allow this to be your new saying repeating it smoothly and steadily again and again. Noticing if there are any aches or pains or emotions that are very prominent. And if they're distracting your attention, then ask those parts to let you do this practice and come back to your question or challenge or affirmation. I'm going to let you repeat your own question or challenge or affirmation while I have my own intention in my mind. Noticing my body, noticing my breath, coming back to my question, challenge, or affirmation. And as you do this, notice if you are starting to gain some clarity about the difficulty that you are facing.
Finish with a simple spiritual melody of your choice. This melody will help to calm you in your mind and your heart. 